Yeah, so I sent Rachel an email, uh, very businesslike, what I need to do with the truck, and she wrote back, I haven't heard from you in months, and the only time I hear from you is when you need something. I don't want any further contact with you. I'm signing the title of the truck over to you. I want nothing more to do with you. I haven't heard from you in months. So I sent back an email saying, take responsibility for your own actions. I have to maintain my mental health, and you were so abusive last time. I was with you that it made me sick. That's why you haven't heard from me. Um, so it looks like I am now the sole owner of the truck as soon as she sends over the title and she says she's sending another copy of the proof of insurance. I found an email from her with an attachment about the proof of insurance but my printer doesn't have any ink in it and I can't afford ink cartridges. So what I will do is, you know I made that living dinosaur cookie jar. I'm going to bake up a bunch of cookies and I'm going to have an auction to auction that off so that I can get the funds because I have insurance through March and so I have just over a month to get enough insurance. That means I have enough insurance to drive to Albuquerque where I plan to spend some funds buying things that I can sell at the flea market and like I said I will also do the cookie thing, the creationist cookie thing. So that's my game plan. Otherwise I would tell her come get the truck, forgive the rest of the loan and that's the end of it. So if I'm going to be the sole owner of the truck because I really, really resisted having her name on both the truck and my travel trailer. Now as long as I keep making payments, hopefully she won't come out here and steal my house out from under me. But she did steal a truck out from under me once before that I had driven about 300 miles from Albuquerque to a place where it's 60 miles round trip to buy groceries and she came out and got it because uh, the person who had promised me a living space reneged and I couldn't make a $500 a month payment to, to her for the truck when my income was just over $600 a month and of course she's so caring and considerate that's proof that I'm a loser and not that you know poor people have circumstances so to all of you who said that I'm better off without her I've known that for years you know after she beat me in the head I, I knew that what she does is she suckers me in and pretends like she has respect for me and uh, compassion for my circumstances and gets me over a barrel where she thinks she has the right to abuse me and if I stand up for my civil rights she pulls stuff like this today I haven't heard from you in months and I'm taking my name off the title okay cool groovy I will have a fundraiser and I will get the insurance money I need somehow I hope or at least I'll get pretty damn close to it. Thank you all for your support and for uh, investigating Motor Vehicle Department in New Mexico and all the other respectful things that you've had to say. I'm taking care of my business. Bye.